Stage is set. Ball is on the tee. And off we go on EA Sports. A short one taken at the 10. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Past midfield. Look at him go. And he takes this all the way back for six. The opening kickoff of the afternoon turns into a touchdown. This one, the opening kickoff taken back all the way for the first point of the game. And each one of these teams, Mike, they've spent the entire week discussing how can we get off to a fast start, but you don't get out to much of a faster start than returning the opening kickoff of the game. It's a dream start, as you said, and man, you just don't draw it up much better than that. Extra point by Little is good, and the Dolphins will take a 7 nothing lead. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. He'll take it at the 12. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line. So that Detroit offense taking the field for the first time, led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Tua Tungavailoa. All right, Mike, now the question is, how do they come onto the field and answer the bell? They give up the quick strike on the kickoff return. Do they come out here now and try to strike back quickly? Whether it's a long, methodical drive or something fast, just don't press too fast. There is a long way to go. A lot of football left to be played. There is no need to panic. The NFL's leading rusher a season ago. Christian McCaffrey. They converge on him quickly. They'll only get a couple. Get Kobe Dean in on the tackle. He'll come up on a second down and eight. Out of the gun, Tungle Valoa. Oh, he's going to be followed up and taken down. They've got him. Well, here early on, if this pass rush continues to get home at this rate, this is going to be a long Shotgun snap for two. He'll try and get there on the ground. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn it to a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. Here's the Lions punt team now. As he'll come on to punt this one away. This one fielded out beyond the 25. Yeah. And he's going to score. He takes it back on the punt return. script a better start the defense takes care of business to begin the game and the special teams Greg put up the first point to this one yeah typically coming into a game like the coach's concern is all right how do I get my defense and my offense to complement one another well in this case the defense comes out and does their job early with the three and out but it was the special teams that said all right offense you guys can wait your turn we're going to put up some points here early and you talk about just a perfect start to this game Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Now a return coming from the 14. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to take over once more. 
They trail by two touchdowns, so time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. From the gun, here's two. Oh, the ball's out. Here's Tunga by Lowe. That's caught. Christian McCaffrey. And that's well read by the defense. Not backwards. He's back at his own nine yard line. Third and long. Here's Tua. Now look out. That ball is free in the end zone. And that's going to be scooped up. This team, two drives, two scores, and it's both their scores. First one by the offense, and Greg, now the defense gets one on the board. Yeah, and this is just a dream scenario, Mike. I mean, you talk so often. Guys, we got to start the game and capture some momentum. We have to go out and impose our will on our opponent. In this case, both sides of the ball have clearly come to play. We got a special teams touchdown, Mike, and we can go for the trifecta. Extra point by Little is good. And the Dolphins will stake themselves to a 21 to nothing lead. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. They'll return this from the 11. Now on the return, he has lost the football. You talk about everything going wrong. A big deficit. All you want is the ball and a chance to get back in the game. And now, Greg, they hand the ball right back to him on this kickoff fumble. Mike, you know the saying, when it rains, it pours. And right now, it is pouring on this team. They just can't get out of their own way. They lose a fumble here on the kickoff just to make matters worse. This has just been a complete... And he's going to take this all the way home. Christian McCaffrey, touchdown Miami. Here's Cam Little for the PAT. He knocks it through. And the Dolphins move out to a commanding 28 to nothing first half lead. We are through one. 28 to nothing is our score. And we're back to South Florida after this. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. C.D. Lamb there to return it. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. And before this next drive, quick reminder that the Madden Championship Series is back for another year. It's going to be the biggest and boldest yet. How about $1.7 million up for grabs in the search for the best Madden 25 players in the world. You might recall Henry last year becoming the first player ever to become a Madden millionaire. Who's going to be next? It could be you. Visit MaddenChampionship.com to register. Get in on the fun. Go to the line now on second and two. They run straight ahead with McCaffrey. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yards. Well, as 
been the case this entire first half. It's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part. Coming through again with another big stop for a loss. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively. Setting up a fourth down. And this offense just cannot get anything going right now on third down. If you ask any offensive play caller throughout the entire league, Mike, the importance of third down, maintaining possession, making the defense stay on the field and have long extended drives, it is critical to not only scoring points, but ultimately winning in the NFL. And it'll be a good return. He's able to get it up past the 40-yard line. Set to go now on first and ten. Now, Stroud. Just trying to avoid the rush there. He's hit as he threw in the pass. Is incomplete. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. And down He's got Schultz, the tight end. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two, three. So quickly, he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. Stroud to throw here on first down. Escaping the danger, throwing and completing. And he's in. Dalton Schultz. Touchdown, Dolphins. This defense continuing to give up points. Greg, you've been on offenses like this. This has to feel great when you're on a roll like this. And it's really twofold, Mike. First and foremost, just like you said, every offense in the league works all week. We want to start out fast. We want to establish some early rhythm and play our style of game. They've certainly done that. Now, on the flip side, what does it do to your opponent? It takes them completely out of their game plan, knowing this early in the game, they're chasing points. <laughs> kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away CD on the return and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line here's the Detroit offense now headed back onto the field they'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break it has not been their half to this point let's see what they do on this drive first down now Short throw taken by Pitts. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Now, a loose football. And fortunately, one of the Lions in there to get on it and Detroit keeps possession. Now, obviously, there's never a good time to fumble the ball. It's probably the thing that teams stress the most is ball security. But it makes it a little bit easier knowing that your own team was able to fall on top of it and at least you can maintain possession. On third down, here's McCaffrey. The defense is willing to just give up that run every single time. I mean, they're going to leave guys as far back as they can to protect the sticks. And in this case, flow to the ball, make an open field tackle, get off the field. The Lions will put this ball away. As he is on to kick it away. Now, fair catch is taken back inside the 40. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Now, a handoff to McCaffrey. Up the sideline, past midfield.
to start a drive. He takes it all the way to the house. I don't know what they were talking about on the last series, but they've come out on this series, Greg, with the right answer for the touchdown. And, Mike, the reason a lot of teams start off drives with the run play is to allow themselves to operate ahead of the chains. Well, not this guy. He found the alley, he took it, and he's off to the races for six. And the kick is good. So what a finish to this first half as they extend the lead. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw the former All-Pro Christian McCaffrey up to his old tricks in that first half. He had a nose for the end zone as he wound up with two touchdowns on the ground in those first two quarters. The highlights from the first half, all one-sided. This one got out of hand early, and now you have to wonder how these teams will approach this second half because this one's already close to being in the bag if it's not already. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. This taken around the 11. And now for a second time, he loses the football. The Lions offense ready to come back out for this next possession. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. I fumbled the football. One of his teammates there to take it back in. So even though they avoid the turnover, this is still a play that they're going to coach hard on. They're going to bring guys into the meeting room next week and say, hey guys, we're not always going to be so fortunate. The ball is not always going to bounce our way. Anybody who handles the ball from the center to the quarterback to any of the ball carriers, the move. This offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another set. So after surrendering their sixth set of the game, I looked down on the sideline and found their offensive line coach. He grabbed his headset, removed it, and he slammed it on the ground. And truthfully, all of them, his unit has been getting worked up front all day. Pitts is the man in motion. They'll throw now third and forever. And that is incomplete. He was trying to get it to CD line. And that'll set up fourth down. The offense just couldn't seem to get anything going that drive. They knew they had a long way to go, taking over possession that deep in their own territory. You want to pick up that first down and see if you can capitalize some momentum. Instead, the errant throw he brings up fourth down, and they're going to have to punt it away. And it's a very nice return. He has given the offense a short field. This offense ready for their next possession, led by their running back. And as we look at the highlights, you see it's been tough to stop him here today. A couple of touchdowns in this ball game. He has, without a doubt, been the driving force in this offense so far. They'll come up here first and ten. From the gun, here's Stroud. Inside the ten, it is caught. And he's into the end zone. He's got it. And the Dolphins continue to bring the hammer down. It is now 40 not to nothing. Both teams ready to go once more. 
as the kicks away. A return coming from the 14. Christian McCaffrey on the return. The Lions offense ready to take over once again. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Pitts is the man in motion. On the counter, it's McCaffrey. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. What makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys, brings them right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no game. From the gun on third down, Tungo Vailoa. And it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Zion McCollum. So third and long, trying to pick up a first down to keep the drive going. Instead, the worst result. It goes back the other way, Greg. And the defense scores with a pick six. Mike, sometimes there's a fine line between being aggressive and being reckless. And I think you find yourself in third and long. You're trying to make a play. But sometimes you just press a little too far. And this time, it leads to the turnover and the pick six. Here's Cam Little for the PAT. It's up and through. And the Dolphins will add one more onto their big lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. They'll return this from the 11. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Lions offense ready to get back to work. They'll do so with first and 10. Hill brought in motion. Doing that on first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They'll send him over to the left. The throw on second down. It's to it. Failed trying to set up the screen to McCaffrey. Who's well, brought down that pass is going to pick up four and bring up a third down. So, three quarters now in the books. This is Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Third and six. In motion, Lamb. Throwing on third down, Tungo Valoa. This offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. This is a great reminder of why it's so important to have great offensive tackles. When you get beat so fast off the edge, the quarterback has nowhere to go in the pocket to escape, and that's what happens. Special 
special teams on the field ready for this punt. As this drive went backwards, he's on to kick it away. This fielded inside the 35. And it's a good solid return as he takes it back up near midfield. Out comes Miami and the offense to get started on their next drive. This one appears to be safe in hand. It has been a clinical performance to this point. Now they'll try to finish up strong. McCaffrey now on first and ten. Oh, big hole left side. And he's into the end zone yet again. Christian McCaffrey. performance to remember there is five touchdowns for him in this one game we might need a calculator before this one is done it has been one-sided and the route rolls on Greg absolutely Mike and they just keep piling on the points I mean this offensive play caller he's saying it's never enough I'm gonna try to score with every possession and we've seen him do that all game long Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. CD on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The visitors offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll start out first down and 10. Throwing is Tua. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. So two minutes left to play in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. Now it's Tua. Oh, a loose football. It's picked up by the Dolphins. affair from the start. Yeah, and on a day where it just seems like nothing has gone their way, this fumble return for a touchdown kind of just adds injury to insult. There's, there's days, Mike, where you just don't have your best and the other team has the upper hand, and I think it's pretty clear today is one of those days. Extra point by Little is good. And the Dolphins add on to their already sizable lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away CD on the return and it'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drop the visitors offense headed back to take over once more we'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten to throw is Tua. He's got his target. That's Pitts. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. That one good for a dozen. And a very quick first down. Now Tua. Oh, they're on him with a flag, and he's lost the football. And this is taken in by the defense. The defense getting to the quarterback, getting access.
Harris to the ball, knocking it free, and coming up with the recovery. I'd like to see the quarterback just be a little more secure with the ball, Mike. You can see he's just a little loose, especially when you're operating from the pocket. But give credit to the defender. Nice job attacking the ball, knocking it loose and recovering it. And that is a big takeaway here by this defense. Here's first and ten. Give for McCaffrey running right. <laughs> it is a gain of 23 yards, and now they'll have four shots out. It's first and goal. on the nine. First down and goal. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. That one is caught in the back of the end zone. T. Higgins. Touchdown, Dolphins. Greg, they take advantage of the good field position and move it downfield for the score. When you take the field as an offense, there's a little added confidence boost, Mike, when you see yourself this close to the end zone. You get into the huddle, you're anxious to see what the next couple plays are. You're able to take advantage and end up punching it in. Little on now for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Dolphins stretch things out even further. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. CD on the return. So now out comes the offense led by their quarterback as they take over once again. And he has had all sorts of trouble in this one. Your quarterback has to take care of the ball and he has not. Turning it over in the air turning it over as a fumbler you just cannot win football games in this league when the quarterback's given the defense the ball and that's what he's done in this one on first down Tungle by Loa. this offensive line just has no answers right now it's another sack some exotic looks, some different pressure packages, and it's worked to perfection. I'm not sure they thought they'd be one sack away from breaking the NFL record for the most sacks in a single game, but here we are. Well, give them some credit. Initially, that looked like it was going to be a sack. He's able to escape the pressure and get away, picks up a little bit of yardage, but at least he avoids taking that shot. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. It is not very often where I am at a loss for words. You know that by working with me. But let's just set this stage. They just allowed a modern NFL record 13 sacks in one game. I mean, to say this is absurd would be a dramatic understatement. And I hate to say it, but performances like this, people lose their jobs over. extend this lead. Wow, what a play. Extra point by Little is good. And the Dolphins will open it up even further. 
here in this fourth quarter. Just one second, all that remains in the football game as the kick is away. CD on the return. Now on the return, he has lost the football. So spins up. It's a win for the Dolphins. And this was as good as it gets. All three phases of the game in perfect harmony as they post the lopsided shutout victory. do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Dolphins, home winners here as we say farewell from South Florida.